I know people didn't know how it's doing. If you want to know more about this story that I'm just about to talk about, because it is very annoying for a parent that was the son of child to school. It's on, I will leave a link in the description. It was on the Joe Finnegan show, a uh, local radio in Calvin Martin. It was on the show today. I will leave a link in the description to this article and I'm about to read. I can't speak. My apologies. I just wanted to clarify that before I started. Because it, it, you need to know the situation first. It's going to take me a few minutes to explain it. So basically, bus air and school. I'm sure uh, bus air is the transport authority. It's the uh, bus service in Ireland. It runs school ones, the same as many countries. And the school ones basically are not, they're not big buses. They're small buses for small towns and big buses for medium sized towns. So this is in Shellcock in County Calvin. This poor woman um, tried to get a seat and couldn't get a seat for uh, her children. Along with 10 other parents, along with 10 other people that couldn't get a seat on the bus because uh, for some reason they don't know why. So... So bus Aaron is really just not getting on my work today because I done a video a few minutes ago getting out damn but bus Aaron I had enough said about them already. So, so they're trying to get to a school in Shercock, which is in the same town. So um she's speaking on behalf of the ten Shercock families who are in the same situation. So ten people in the situation, same situation. And what's um, I don't know what Bus Aaron's saying about. But she does speak about it. you can hear a bit of her interview. <laughs> bus Aaron is a fire challenge, she should instead send her children to Beable Community School. You see what I mean? She wants to send all the children to Shellcock School, right? Right, right, right? And you know what they're like? Go to Bayable. How about that? Go to Bayable. Don't bother going to Shellcock. Where you want to go, where your friends are going. You know what? We'll send you to Bayable. How about that? If somebody wants to go to a school, and if that is in this, as she said herself, as this one was rightly said, the other right honourable lady has already said. It's unbelievable in this stage of age that they can't fight transport. Like, come on now. Come on. We're in the 24th century. This is not 18th century Ireland. At least back then, at least they might have a bit of transport. <laughs> Even if they didn't. It, this is 24th century Ireland. We should have the buses. We should have the resources. I'm sure this woman pays her taxes along with everybody else in Shellcock pays their taxes to the state, which is, un which is getting funded by Boss Aaron, by the state. I'm sure to God that they have enough money to run a bus. If they already have a bus going to Shellcock to a Shellcock school, I'm sure, I'm very, very, very sure that they can somehow do something, put a bigger bus on. I'm sure Bus Aaron has more buses, but I'm sure they're just being lazy. and just couldn't be bothered. Shannon, she already paid her 350 euro, which is for a bus ticket. Just to say, if you get in the bus, Take it. Unless you're in on the door, unless you're on the door, unless you're on the unless you're on um, job seekers allowance or anything like that, you get free. You get free. Your children get free. But uh, you have to pay three hundred and fifty euro if you have if you walk. If you walk, say you walk in the public sector or in the private sector, you have to you have to pay for it. Uh, she she has been refunded. She's going to get a refund. But she said it's unbelievable. But the the bus owner have this. Quack going on, I suppose the best word to describe in this day and age. And I totally agree with the White Honourable Lady. Uh, she's totally, and I, and I applaud her for going to Joe Finnegan and speaking about it. I applaud her because, um, you know, we can't leave these things lying. We can't just say, we can't just accept the fact because it's always good to stand up to authorities and to say, you know what, I paid, I want my son to go to Shercock School instead of Bayboy. And Bus Aaron advising her child to go to Bayboy is an absolute joke if they did do that. So um, you know, I say to the this the the Sh Sharon that um, fair play to her for speaking out, and I really hope Bus Aaron might, because the reason why I'm doing this video is to like Cab Northern Sound only talks to Calvin and Marlon. I'm trying to get Bus Aaron to be frustrated. That's really what I'm trying to do, because other people from other countries and people from outside Calvin will be watching this. Hopefully, please God. And we'll see how much of how much stupidness this is for a twenty fourth century transport authority to not have a bus for everybody. It's stupid, 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 stupid. It's really, really just stupid. How the cat get it? I, 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 it's it's beyond me. It's really beyond me. It's beyond me that they. I don't know what. They just. I don't know. Bus everyone's just. Doesn't have a clue. They must have a rabbit in 
as head of the bus so uh, service committee or something like that. I'm that's why I, I already said in the last video because I don't video about bus airing already because they already are getting on my way there and they're on my way there already. Um, I'm I, I already said so me and some other people already said the name of the Shane Ross Minister Shane Ross Minister for Transport. Uh, we have sent an email about the situation in Marlon and we probably will send an email about this just to, the article just to show him what's happened because I'm sure he won't find out unless I say something uh, but we will send it he probably might not respond but we will send I say I get somebody to send I won't send him the post but I get somebody to send it to him just the email just to show the article and so we have a look at it himself and he make his own judgment if something's not sorted we leave it for a while see if someone decides to do something but I will keep in touch with this situation. I will um, monitor it. I will monitor Bus Island because I have a lot more to say about them. Don't worry, it's not the end of Bus Island. Um, just to say, thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and bye.